What's good everybody, this is Angel of CR Gaming. Welcome back for the first time in a long time since I've played this on uh, YouTube. This is The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Now, I'm going to recap exactly what happened in the last episode because I had completely forgotten until I went back to watch it. So, pretty much we were at the very first dungeon of the game. Uh, it you know obviously it turned out that we were in the uh, cemetery itself so with that going on we defeated it we came back into the town and you know that, that's pretty much as much as I'm going to remember on purpose only because I don't want to remember all the finer details of the last episode since I want to continue to move on so I do know for a fact though I mean since it's been a long time I have played this game we have to go into the forest and I believe there's a dungeon here. Yep, that, there it is. Okay, so there's a dungeon. We got to hit up that dungeon and I think we got to do another thing in this forest. I'm not really sure, 100% sure what. I know it's some kind of puzzle or something. Something along the lines of having to do... Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait the fuck a minute. I think I remember this. You, yep, yep, I remember this. Hide and seek, little fuckers. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna be having a grand time, don't you think? Okay, so I I do remember the patterns for these fucking fairies. Here's the first one. Aha! Dang, but there are still two more. So what? Kiss my ass. Okay, next one, you gotta go. Let's see. Uh, over here, and you gotta go up, then down, then up again, and then you see that rock right there, obviously you guys saw, yeah, that's number two, now the third one, on the other hand, you go over here, then you go down, and then after that you gotta cut that bush at the bottom, yeah, already done, see that, perfect, now, since I found them, they're gonna return the entire forest back to normal, and you guys will see me walk into places. And I know you would probably want to see me actually just continue on forth with the story. But I usually try to complete as much of the map as possible. So I know exactly where the hell I'm going. Because I hate to get fucking lost. Uh, that looks like a spot I can actually get to. At some point later in the game. I don't want to play with you again. Mm -mm. All you do is cause trouble. Yeah, there's the other one, you little fucker. No, no, maybe nothing. Okay, we gotta go one screen over, and I think that was it. I don't think there's anything here. No, 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 there's not. Nope, wasted all my time. Okay, so we have to go straight to the right, and ha! Pull the rock. Uh, oh my God, I forgot that. When you pick that rock up, I forgot that happens. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. That could have went a little better. I think so. Yeah, I know I fucking killed the rock. Killed the cave. You know, it's probably nothing in the fucking future inside of that cave. I could have just walked in and just grabbed the damn essence, but nah. I killed it. I killed it so good. Okay, so we got to go back up and then around. I don't even know if I can go out that way, to be honest. You know, where the fucking cave collapsed. I, I could have. Okay. So, I, yeah, I could have just, instead of walking all the way around. Yep, yep. Instead of walking all the way around, I could have just walked through that. Okay. Well, I know for next time. Next time I have to go through that shit again. Uh. Okay, what do we, Oh, that's what we have to do. We have to get into the past. Okay, so that shouldn't be too, too much of a problem. We just got to find that uh, fucking time portal spot that's literally way the fuck up here. You know, and that's, and it fucking sucks because there's like certain points you can do the time portal. And uh, I think we gotta get the oh oh the dude that we let through when he was uh, uh fucking taking over. What's his name? I think his house is over here. He might actually have the, uh, I think it's a harp, if I'm not mistaken. 
Let's see, let's, let's talk to you. Could you, there was a hidden room, you felt the draft. Oh, buddy, I'm going. Go, go, go. Ah, yes, it's a fucking harp. Da -na -na -na. We got the harp of ages. Okay, now this is going to be all types of fun. We get to travel between time now. And this is all going to be fun and games, and it is going to be a pain in the ass, because there's going to be a lot of pausing into the menu and switching items, especially with the harp. I'm going to have to tra uh, time travel so much in this entire game. Oracle of Seasons was fucking dope, because you literally can change the seasons, you know, on screen. You rarely had to, you know, pull out the fucking wand or the rod as you know as much as you have to pull out the fucking harp you literally just pull out the wand if you need to go right ahead and switch the seasons so this way it could fix up what or you know at least set the settings for you so you can continue on it was simple you keep it out and you can take it everywhere and barely did any type of pausing in my opinion I felt like there was less pausing in the Oracle of Seasons than in Ages, but in Ages, you have to literally go back and forth to the fucking item menu like crazy. Okay, I don't give a damn, man. I know where I'm going. Want me to go to the past? So I'm gonna... First, let me check over here. Is there any way we can... No, we can't go that way. There has to be a way for me to get up there. There has to be. I think maybe later in the game. Possibly when I get Ricky. I don't know. Oh, damn. Oh man, I dropped something. I'm, I'm, that's okay. You guys heard that boom. That's okay. I just dropped something. Don't worry about it. Nothing too bad. Nothing all crazy. Alright, welcome to the past. Oh my god, everybody got big ass fish lips. Okay, let's see. I am looking for some shit. Nothing, nothing. Nope. Hey, there's a house there, but how? Uh, I might have to get the Zora flippers later. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this entire week, guys, is going to be extremely busy. Um, reason why is because I have mass recorded a lot of footage for you guys for the week. I have to wait until I start work. I actually have to wait for a phone call. You know, ask, you know, pretty much about my uh, drug test. Once the drug test results come in for them, uh, you know, for the Menards, they will let me know when my actual work day starts, and I'm hoping it's right away, because I sure as hell don't feel like waiting. So, once that happens, every single week, there will be a new video out for you guys. You know, for every single day of every week, I'm going to just be mass recording everything ahead of time. So, I will have about seven videos recorded and literally posted onto YouTube, but if certain videos... Like, let's say, because this video is for today, for ob obviously it's for today. But let's say if I have Tuesday's video, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a fucking shooting gallery. No, no, thank you. I don't give a damn. Okay, anyway. So let's say I put up tomorrow's video today. It will be pretty much unlisted. All the videos that I get done... You know, all the commentary and the gameplay footage, everything that is completely finished. I will have it set and ready on a YouTube. So this way, when I go into work, you know, whenever they start me working, I will have all the videos already set up on YouTube. And that means all I have to do is switch it to public and you guys will be able to view it. All I have to do is share it right away and that about it, that'll be about it to be quite honest. You know what I mean? You guys will get videos. You know, I'm not going to miss any videos unless something really does come up with work and they need me to come in early or do overtime or do uh, work on my days off, you know. Stuff like that. I want to make sure that I'm pretty much working ahead. Overworking myself, yes, but working ahead nonetheless. So, I get that done. You guys will be all set. I will be set for a while. And I will be working like crazy all summer. So, again, if I miss any videos or I don't get a chance to do videos or even the live streams. Like this weekend, I was supposed to do a live stream on Twitch on my phone. But a lot of stuff was happening. So, I didn't really get a chance to sit down and really get onto the live streaming thing. So, 
please don't be mad guys i apologize if you were looking forward to the live stream but hopefully hopefully everything will be settled out completely once i start working i will i should be able to pretty much at this point with the money i save up you know i should be able to put some type of investment into a new logo for my name and hopefully use it for uh, teesprings so i mean if that is the case guys it will all be prepared i uh, will be you know ready you know will be there'll be t-shirts so you know a lot of stuff i really wanted to start doing for this channel and for you guys as well i want to be able to host giveaways which would be very nice but i will only host the giveaways once i hit a thousand subs and i also need to get some brand new equipment to be quite honest we're looking at, uh, hmm, I don't know. I'm looking at maybe some professional cameras that I'll hook up to the computer. I'm looking to get a better laptop. You know, if I won't, I don't really technically have room for a computer right now, but I will get a gaming laptop, one that runs extremely well. And once i get that gaming laptop i'll be able to get the camera that'll hook up to a usb and i'll be able to do some live streams from the laptop you know what i mean i'll, I'll be able to hold shit a lot of stuff actually i could do a lot more with brand new everything compared to what i'm able to do now so we'll see how that goes we'll see how everything goes i i should really stop planning ahead <laughs> Uh, but this, these are my ideas. These are my thoughts of, you know, stuff that I can get done or stuff that I can do. Not that I actually can do it now. But once everything, like I said, is set, you know, once I get myself settled, working this full-time spot, making my money, everything will be completely good. Everybody's going to be enjoying the videos, you know, and I'm most likely going to be getting some graphics done as well. Uh, you know, pictures and stuff like that, so... We'll find out, and damn, I gotta sneeze again. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that had to have been the second or third time I sneezed on video. Oh man. Woo. I don't know. I think it was one of the other Legend of Zelda games, or it was the Metroid game where I sneezed during the fucking recording. Oh, my nose. Okay, well, get fuck out of here, bitch. And you got a Gasha seed. You know, usually I never ever use the Gasha seeds. I end up collecting them and just never use them. But I think I'm gonna start using them from now on, just to kind of see what I get inside those uh, Gasha nuts. I know for a fact you get money, you get rings. I mean, you can get a lot of stuff out of a Gasha Gasha seed. Uh -uh. We gotta be looking. Oh, that's what we gotta look for. We have to look for some seeds here. Now I remember why we had to come to the dark side. Okay. We have to get uh, some type of seeds. I think they're mystery seeds. Or scent seeds. One of the two. If it's, if it's the mystery seeds, I think that's exactly what we need to get at, you know, in this area. We have to take it back to the town you know well the near well the only nearest town we have to take those seeds back once we take them back we get invited into the castle well at least in the courtyard of the castle but you you guys know you already know whenever we have to do favors for somebody in these legend of zelda games it always seems to turn out to be some kind of negative ass shit that there they are there they are oh my god you what the hell buy a shield for 30 no not from you Nope, nope, you ain't hustling me. Alright, let's see. We got that, that's perfect, and... Eh, I really need to get a fucking ring. I think I need... Oh, uh, get! Alright, so we got a bunch of hard seeds, perfect. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Where... Okay, there's two paths, I can see that. Uh, yeah. Ooh, 30 rupees. Well, how ironic that that dude tried to hustle me for 30 and I found 30. Okay, get the eh, eh, No. No. Bad fucking turtle shell things. No. Nah. -ha. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That goes up. Fuck. Okay. 
new plan. I'm gonna go around this way first before I hit up those steps. Because I'm not even 100% sure what the hell I might find. What the hell? Eh. I'm afraid of those damn crabgrass animals. Uh. Oh, you motherfucker. You got me. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm glad we went this way. Woo! We got the seeds. I'm happy now. I, I mean, I'm going to try to go on up just to see if I can find anything else. I mean, I, I, just looking from that previous screen, I mean, it looked like there wasn't nothing there but that fucking enemy. Hmm. Mm -mm. Well, he did. But yeah, if there's nothing there, I'm just going to walk all the way back and take it on backwards. One bitch down. Two bitch down. Three bitch down. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, wait, wait. A shield. That You sell it for cheap. I buy the shield off you. It was worth it. Fucking 30 for a shield. I might as well go to that one. That one knows how to hustle cheap. Eh. 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 Go, 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 go. Son of a bitch. Come on. Eh. Oh, you motherfucker, dude. Two hits off my ass. Fuck that. Give me hearts. Hearts. Any hearts. Okay, I'll take that one too. Mm -mm. I remember. Uh. Ah. Cutscene. Those are the mystery seeds Queen Ambie has been demanding. I bet she has. I bet she has. She must be a bossy little person. Now that is perfect. But you see that? We only get to step into the courtyard, but not exactly into the castle. The castle's right there. Now there's this fucking top hat wearing queen over here. Yeah, here, let me get the seeds. They can't trust you over there, kid. They really can't trust the fucking... How old is Link in, in most of these games? Like, between 10 to 13 or something like that? Or younger? I don't know. They act like they can't trust the kid. All he's gonna do is run around and play. Possibly. Hmm? What kind of reward? Bombs? It is bombs! We got the bombs! Fuck yeah! You know what that means? We get to go into the fucking dungeon now. In this, in the past at least. Because we destroyed it in the future. But in the past, we actually get to go in and get some brand new items and an essence. So that's going to be fucking nice. Oh, it's you again. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And I know I'm saying uh-uh a lot. Two things. One, I got something I'm trying to get out of my damn teeth. And two, I am not fucking playing with this bitch. He causing so much trouble with that body. Uh. Yeah, and I'm skipping a lot of this. I am not reading the dialogue. It's too much to read. All right. We did good. We did really good today. I'm surprised. You know, some of the shit I remember. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video. Don't forget to leave a like in the video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to sub to the channel. I will catch you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Peace out. Love y'all. And I hope.